Have you ever had one of those days? <laughs> but today was one of those days. You know, one of those days when you just don't wake up in the greatest mood, you know. Um, and I think it's more a mental thing than anything else. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you have physical things that go on, like the fact that, you know, you're just not as young as you used to be, and maybe it takes you a little bit longer to rebound from things, or you need a little bit more sleep than you used to get. Um, but that's that's a part of it. Um, I have a new CPAP machine because I have sleep apnea. So I have to wear a, a machine when I go to bed, so... That's, all of that kind of stuff was, is mounting as a part of the process of my struggle. Um, but, you know, just sometimes you're just a little bit irritable. And I think that's, that's how I was today. Just not in a really good place. And then um, this morning at Bible study, had a gentleman join us. And, and I guess I knew I was in, in for trouble because he came in and he said, um, Pastor, can I, is this the Bible study? I said, yes. And he said, now, don't make me pray or talk. I don't, I don't want to be doing any, anything like that. I'd just like to come and be, you know, be a part of the study. I'm like, of course, you can come and you can just listen if you want to, or you're encouraged because we just have conversation. And, uh, and I'm just going to be honest with you, the guy wouldn't shut up. Um, and he had such a thing about science and religion that it didn't matter. We were in Psalm 103, verse 13. And we were looking at the passage of scripture about how God has compassion like a father has compassion for his children. And he kept bringing it back to science against things. He kept talking about fire-breathing dragons and dinosaurs. And, and he would get mad when anybody would, would disagree with him or anything like that. And finally, I just looked at him and I said, you, you've got a lot to learn about how to be socially appropriate in these kind of situations. And you've got to be quiet, you know. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I didn't say because said, I said, you got to shut up. you got to shut up and listen because uh, you're, you keep coming back to your science against religion thing every single thing we talk about. We could say the sky's blue and you'll talk about science and religion. You, you, we could say that um, we're going to be talking about the, the scriptural definition of fear and you're going to talk about science versus religion and you're not willing to listen to anybody else. And so he finally got up and walked out. And I'll be honest with you, I was kind of glad that he got up and walked out because it was, uh, uh, it brought some peace to the room. But I did have to apologize. I had to apologize to the 10 other people that were there because I said, you know, one, it wasn't, wasn't my intention to come off as rude as I was, but I just had gotten very, you know, I tried to redirect. I tried to be polite. I tried to let him speak his, speak his turn and, and it just wasn't good. And it just, it just was one of those things. And, and of course, as the whole thing's going on, I'm kind of, starting to get a little irritable because of the fact that I'm not in a good mood anyways. You know, it was, so it was just one of those kind of things. Luckily, um, luckily it, it turned out that I uh, was able to get into worship after that and uh, get kind of settled and uh, some good singing this morning. Um, we did More Love, More Power and uh, the, the people picked up those simple words and they were singing. And of course, Sanctuary is always wonderful to sing Sanctuary. Um, if you haven't experienced it before, um, it's not the Mormon Tabernacle Choir. It's not a. It's not fifteen thousand men singing. You know, um, our mighty fortress is our God. But to come to worship, to experience this congregation singing sanctuary together, um, it's it's kind of become this this congregation's anthem. I think that's just how God has done it. Um, it's just that's the way it is. We we close every praise time with sanctuary. And uh, they sing it out. And, uh, some of them sing horribly, but they sing it out, and that's that's wonderful. And so I would invite you, if, if for nothing else, uh, to come and experience sanctuary at, at this con in this congregation. Um, in other news, there was the end of our journey, uh, really, which just marks the beginning, because uh, we are on island number eight today, and so there are eight islands to our journey to be. So we concluded another another round of the journey to be. And the thing that I always find interesting when I when you finish a journey to be is that not only do I realize that there's more to learn, I realize that there's more going on there, but also too, I, I, I understand how basically powerful it is. And and it gives me encouragement to know that, you know, God has just kind of placed something in my midst that is so so simple, but yet so profound. And I know that there's going to come a day in the future 
um, when it's going to be more than just a, a sermon that I share on a Sunday morning. I think there's going to be more to it than that. I believe there's going to be more to it than that, but time will tell. We'll find out. Uh, so we finished our journey on island number eight, and that's the, uh, the island where we'll yield ourselves to, to be and to do whatever God wants us to be or to do, uh, to, to, uh, be, to share the light, to share the good news of Jesus by our example and by our word. And we talked about our oikos. We talked about our eight to 15 people that we have in our lives uh, that are closest to us, our household, our family, so to speak. Uh, these are the people that know us and love us, and we know them and we love them. And so all that groundwork is already done, so it's very easy for us to have an impact in their lives. It's very easy for us to share who we are. It's very easy for us to expose our vulnerabilities and our warts to them and be accepted for it. And so a lot of that work is done, and so we, we shared about that those 8 to 15 people. In fact, I made everybody list their 8 to 15 people in their oikos, uh, the, the people that they have uh, the closest relationship with. And those are the people that we can focus on because God, Jesus says to go into all the world, which is slightly intimidating to think about going into the whole world. But if all of us would focus on our 8 to 15 people, our oikos, then we could change the word quickly because it would spread and I, I kind of think that's the picture that uh, Jesus was giving us, that you know, the disciples weren't going to physically go into all the, ask all the parts of the world and, and share the good news of the gospel, but they were going to share the good news of the gospel with some people, and those people would share it with some people, and those people would share it with some people, and it would just go on and on. And that was our point. That's how we ended today, is that we can't be all things to all people, but we can be something to someone. And uh, that's where we left today, and uh, that's where I'll leave you. Uh, I hope that this week has a great you. And you're invited to join us next week as we begin our new series, Marching into Easter, uh, moving towards Palm Sunday and Monday Thursday and Easter Sunday, all those, uh, all those things around, uh, happening around Jesus' resurrection. So we invite you to be a part of it. Uh, you can come. Like I said, if you just come just to hear Sanctuary, it's worth the trip. All righty. I will see you later.